In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the worst type of cardio that you could do for your fat loss. Like literally the worst, don't do this. Then I'm gonna give you five tips on how to make your cardio more effective to lose weight faster, coming up. What is up, For Faith Nation? Thank you so much for tuning into the video. If you are new around here and you found us through search, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that little bell button to get all the latest videos because I talk about weight loss and fat loss and that is it. My only goal is to help you reach yours and finally end this cycle of guilt and trying to lose weight. So let's hop right into it. The main part of the video, what is the worst type of cardio? And that is walking, especially walking on a treadmill. On a treadmill, all you have to do is lift up your leg, set it down, and then the treadmill carries it back for you. I think I read this somewhere in college, and don't quote me on this, but it burns about 61 calories an hour, depending on the person's body size, which is as much as an intense video game. And so you're really not just burning that many calories it's too efficient our bodies are too good at walking and it might feel tiring and so don't get me wrong if you're brand new to this that is a great way of building the habit making sure it's not too intense that it's going to tear you down and making sure that you're still going to be getting that exercise that it might be good for you at that level but the second you can you want to get out of that so let's hop right into the tips and find out what you can do to make your cardio more effective so these are going to be like flash round tips real fast i'm going to explain them a little bit and move on to the next one so tip number one is to keep it intense. You wanna make sure that you are working hard, you're sweating, you're breathing, and that you are up to the level of your game. So if you elevate your game, you've been walking for a while, start jogging because you wanna keep it intense. And it could be a different mode, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Maybe you don't like jogging or something, but keep it intense. Tip number two is to keep it variable. And this is what I was talking about just a second ago. You could switch up mode. So if you're ready for a higher level of intensity, you could go over to the bike, you could go to the stair stepper, you could do battle ropes, you could go do something outside and do sprints or something like that. And so you can change up the mode, make sure to do that for best results. Tip number three is to train the different energy systems. And so what I'm talking about with that is if you are doing high intensity but short duration cardio, that is one energy system. Moderate intensity in about 15 to 30 minutes, that's another energy system. And then an hour or longer but low intensity, that is a different energy system. Now, I don't usually recommend going longer than an hour, but you train those different energy systems. So maybe one day you have just cardio and that is the day that you do 60 minutes of cardio, but it's lower um, intensity. And then maybe another day you do uh, high intensity interval training for 10 minutes after your lifting session. That could be battle ropes, you know, so train the different energy systems, work your butt off for 10 minutes, work your butt off for about 30 minutes, and then a lighter, steadier, I don't want to say too light, but a lighter, steadier pace for about 60 minutes. Tip number four is try to get outside. I mentioned this a little bit in number two, just very briefly, but for some reason, research shows that outside cardio burns more calories than inside, even if it's the exact same mode or the exact same thing. So the bike versus the bike, walking versus walking, which again, try not to walk, running versus running, whatever it is. And I think that's because one, enjoyment, it's just more fun to be outside. And then two, because there's hills, there's challenges that you have to propel yourself. You're never using momentum, like on the elliptical, sometimes momentum can take over. So there's lots of benefits to being outside. Try to get outside, because one, you'll just have more fun with your weight loss, and two, you're gonna burn more calories, get better results. Tip number five, this one's kind of abstract, but it's the most important, and that is make sure that you enjoy it most of the time. You're not always going to enjoy this. Sometimes it is going to feel like homework. Sometimes you're gonna be doing a mode of exercise that you don't really like, and that's okay. Most of the time though, you want to be enjoying it. And so, I mean, me, my personal favorites, I love to box because it's just more entertaining. I can, you know, do simulation rounds or whatever, you know, it's just more entertaining. Battle ropes, really anything high intensity is more fun for me. I don't like jogging, I don't like long, runs or, or long, you know, bike sessions where I'm just pedaling mindlessly. Um, and, and that's just my preference. I still do them to train the different energy systems, but um, I don't do them nearly as often. I try to stick to my favorite one that I'm having most fun. Well, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And again, if you're new around here, click the bell button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you get all our videos and leave your comments in the comment section. What do you do for cardio in order to burn more calories? Do you agree that walking is kind of a, a lackluster cardio thing? Was it effective for you at once? I just want to connect you guys in the comment section. I love connecting with the people that I am helping and I love that I am able to help. And that is because you guys are watching and because you guys are supporting the channel and 
keeping me fueled when it comes to putting out this stuff that can potentially help people. So I really hope I'm helping people and I just love that the opportunity is there for me to share the love of Christ, to further the kingdom of God through fitness by helping you. And that is the passion I've been given. So thanks guys again. Have a great rest of your day and God bless.